Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking trailer hitches. When Ford first released the tow specs on this, a lot of people were all over it. 3,500 pounds, used to the F-150, F-250s, pulling 7,000, 8,000, 10,000 pounds. 3,500 seems pretty whippy. But it's right in line with the Jeep and that's all they were looking to hit. My theory is it's not so much what the vehicle can tow because they go 3,500 pounds across the whole lineup, whether it's a base two-door or a four-door wild track fully loaded with every option. It's always 3,500 pounds. So one of my theories is it's the trailer hitch itself that's gonna lower it down more to the 3,500. It's not as beefy as say a class three where you got frame mounts on both sides with a, a steel in between and, and your mount right in the middle. It's kind of a little bit more than a bumper mount, but it's not much, much beefier than that. But personally, I went with it. It was only 600. I figured by the time I bought an aftermarket, put it on, you have to drop the bumper or not, wire up the plug, you got a four and a seven pin that comes with it. I'm trying to tap into the wires, to me, it's just not worth it. I ordered <clears throat> right from the factory. I don't really plan to tow much with it. I have a single axle, um, eight by 10, I believe it is, or uh, 10 by 12 trailer. Um, four wheelers, snowmobiles, that's about all I would ever tow with this anyway. I got the F-150 for anything heavier, but really I wanted it for an, an extra point for uh, you know, a, a winch to pull somebody out or to be pulled out, bike carrier, luggage carrier, to me, it's just easier to have it. It's already installed. If I need it, it's there. So I'm going to show you up underneath real quick what it looks like, and then we'll go inside and show you what the electronics do. All right, so here's a close-up. You got your four pin and the seven over here. The pins are all labeled if you want to check out what, uh, what pin does what. So as we go up underneath here and take a look, you can see... There's only four bolts, although well, they are a pretty decent size. Two, three, four, holding this receiver onto this crossbar. Not the heaviest of duty, hence, like I said before, probably why it's only 3,500 pounds. You know, normally a class three, you'd have the frame mounts up on both sides, all welded, cross piece, receiver welded to that. This is just bolted to that cross piece. But for what I plan on doing with it, it's definitely plenty. All right, let's check out inside. All right, so here we are inside the Bronco, up on the SYNC 4 system. Now to check out the electronics that are ingrained with the trailer package, you go to features down here along the bottom, towing. Now it's got a connection checklist, conventional trailer. And it goes through the usual things, check the ball, the coupler, make sure your connections are there. Little Bronco here, that's pretty cool. Now this is pretty nice, you can check your lights using this part of the app. Adjust your mirrors, basic stuff. Trailer sway control is also in there, turn that on or off. Cool little Bronco picture for the sway control, kind of explains what it is. But that's it, that's all you get. There's no Brake control settings, there's no trailer brake controller. But again, I don't want to get it myself, have to download Forescan and try to load this towing app on myself or take it to the dealer and get charged for it. And really, there's not really much to it besides the sway control. You want to make sure you can turn that on or off if you want to. But for $600 over the course of my payments, it's nothing, it's well worth it. Everything's integrated into the bumper nice. 
looks factory that's what i'm looking for i don't want anything added on later and looking like crap all right that's it for today guys like and subscribe i'd appreciate it have an awesome day